I'm so glad to be away from my family. <laughs> I'm saying I love them, but I got a dysfunctional family. We all got dysfunctional family members. Don't, don't, we can be out of I got an uncle that died, man. He owed me $88. He gonna die and owe me money. <laughs> And, and then he gonna have a big $10,000 funeral, man. You know, everybody's singing, they singing nice things about him. He got on a new suit, I don't know why, but they gave him a new suit. And he owed me $88 and had nerve to make me an honorary pallbearer. You should have seen the side of my casket. I was shaking him up all the way to that grave site, boy. You see? He went to heaven with 88 lumps going right across the top of his head, boy. Oh, that owe me money, man. And my grandmother, she ain't no better, boy. You, boy, you ever talk to an old black lady on the telephone? It ain't no conversation, is it? You know what I'm talking about? It ain't no conversation. All you hear is, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Ooh. And poor woman can mess her word up and get mad at me if I don't know what she's talking about. The other day she gonna tell me, go look on my chest of drawer and get my Labner scarf. I said, who? Labner. I'm like, what is lavender? My purple, I'll slap you in your mouth. Get my purples. Oh, you mean lavender. That's what you're trying to say, Grandma? <laughs> Poor woman, man. And my father, he ain't no better, boy. Anybody had to ever get their parents off the toilet? <laughs> Come on, I ain't the only one. You ever had to have that job? My father called me. Yeah, yeah, he called me. Hey, Joey, Joey. When he called me Joey, I know something wrong. Joey, Joey, he called me. I go over his house. I hear his, he calling me and I don't see him. I'm like, where is he at? I'm walking through the whole house. Joey, Joey. I finally looked here through the vent. He upstairs. I go upstairs, he's sitting on the toilet. Tell me, I need you to help me up. Yeah. You know, and I pull him off the toilet. You know what he gonna do? He gonna turn around. I said, oh no, I'm gonna tell you like you told me. If you could put it in the potty, you can get it off the body. I'm not wiping you off, man. <laughs> I'll put you in a, a wheelchair and roll you through a car wash. You'll be head for toe clean by then. I mean, they, they getting crazy, man. My, my mom, she's something else, boy. My, like I said, they're my dad, too, boy. Yeah, then they wardrobe, man. Boy, you ever take your, go over your parents' house and they got on clothes that should be burnt? <laughs> my dad, I said, Pops, put your shorts and your sandals on. I'm coming to get you. I get to his house, he got on hot pants, y'all. <laughs> yeah, his medicine and change is dangling right under the short leg. <laughs> the shorts is red, the shirt is green. He looked like a big bottle of Tabasco sauce standing there. <laughs> And then he had the sandals on. He didn't have it like the little, like the flip-flops that you guys wear. Oh, he had the gladiator kind that wrapped all the way up to his knee. <laughs> then he got his cell phone and jammed it in the back. Come on, let's go kick it. <laughs> I'm like, no, Caesar, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> now, that's a Chevy, that ain't a chariot. Get yourself in the house and put some shoes on your feet. Cause I'm from Vegas, out. I'm in Vegas, man, right now, boy, and it get hot out there, boy, and people had their toes out, and some of y'all should not have your toes out. <laughs> I saw a woman one day, her toes was confusing. I mean, uh, the right toe was broke all the way over to the left, the left toe was broke to the right. I'm like, how do you walk? Do you slither on these things and now you getting around? <laughs> Look at your feet, they ain't cute. Look at your toes, the big toe ain't the big toe. It's that little thin one that's next to it that's hanging over the end of the shoe. <laughs> And your pinky look like a little thug. He got that little half a nail on it, like it's looking at the rest of the feet, like, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up getting old, boy. Y'all young kids, lucky, man. I, I got children, too, boy. I love them, love being with them, love being away from them. I'm serious. I'm serious, because my daughter, I was on the road, and she ain't seen me in a while, and she was in the playground playing. You know, and I saw her, I said, look at my daughter play, look at him. And it brought a tear to my eye. I said, look at her, she's so friendly, she's playing with these other little kids. So I jump out of the car and I run over to her and give her a little hug and kiss because I haven't seen her in a while. She gonna shoot me away, get away from me, daddy, move. You embarrassing me in front of all of my friends right now. I'm like embarrassing you, how about the time you ate that booger on Easter, you remember that? <laughs> and get yourself on over here, mm, now we even. <laughs> He's something else, man. I love my kids, man. I hang out with them, man. I had to do something I didn't want to do during the family reunion because we had the, the COVID thing going on, man. I had to, you ever sleep in the, have to sleep with a kid? You know, you ever have to sleep in the bed of love? I, I had to sleep with my six-year-old, man. You would get beat up sleeping in the bed with a kid. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I woke up, man, I had an elbow in my neck. Her little fist was in my eye. Her foot was in my mouth. I thumped her as hard as I could right in her head. <laughs> she gonna wake up crying, Daddy, something in the bed beating me up. Me too. <laughs> They sleep like they work third shift, boy. You ever seen them? <laughs> Pillow on the floor, eye half open, drool all on the side of their mouth. You're like, boy, the playground was rough today, wasn't it? 
And speaking of the playground, I take my kids out to it all the time, play with them, have fun, man. I got two boys, you know, that, that are older, and then now the, the little, little I got now, I got a young son and I got a daughter, you know, and I take them out to the playground and they have fun with them, man. You know, and I had, like, you know, if your boy fall down on the ground, what's the first thing you tell them? You tell them, what's the first thing you tell them? You tell them, get up. This ain't gonna be the last time you fall down. This ain't gonna be the last time you get hurt. Shake it off, be a man. When I'm playing with them at the park a couple of other days, y'all, y'all, I had something happen to me ain't happened in years. I got hit in the head with a swing. Oh, y'all laughing. It wasn't funny to me at all, man. Because he set me up, man. I'm pushing him in a swing. You know, the legs is kicking. The other little parents, they taking pictures of me. Like, look at him. He's a nice daddy. And I'm swinging him back and forth. And he's going to look at me and say, come on, daddy, give it to me higher. I said, all right, son, you're going to get there. And he saw another little kid standing in his swing. He'll say, come on, I said, higher. I said, boy, you better watch your mouth. We in public, man. He said, give it to me. And I got that swing and took a running star. And, and, and boom, and swung it. And the swing came back and wasn't nothing in it. And it didn't hit me in the front of my head, it hit me in the back of my head. <laughs> Threw me down, face first in the dirt. I'm laying there, the one woman, she dialing 911, the other lady, she's scraping the dirt off my face. This little fool come by with his hat on backwards. Get up, daddy, this ain't gonna be the last time you fall down. <laughs> hey, shake it off, be a man. <laughs> I'm gonna shake you off, little chump. Then he gonna threaten me, hit me, go ahead, hit me, hit me. I'll call 611-KIDS. <laughs> well, let's see you make that phone call with that phone shook up your butt. <laughs> I get him, man, that'd be your first and only booty call. Go ahead and make that phone call. <laughs> I love him, man, love being with him, man. Cause I got, got kids, man, I was a kid. My mom, you know, she was something else too, boy. Disciplinary woman, man, beat you, boy. You heard your mother that beat you wherever you messed up at? She give it to you, wherever you got it at, man. Whatever you act up at, man. I never get in the grocery store. She snatched the belt off of an old man in the grocery store. He was in the wheelchair. She went right over to him, just flipped it right off his waist and, and started beating me with it. And he rooting her own, get him, get him. I'm like, dude, if you gave her the belt, she don't need the help, shut up. Something else, boy. My wife is like that now. She the disciplinary boy. She disciplined all my kids, man. You know, I got a wife, I, got, I married a European woman. My wife is Serbian. She got that hard accent. She sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger when she talked to me. Yeah, she can tell me to take a bath and I start crying. Get in the room right now and take off your clothes and get in the tub. <laughs> All of my clothes? <laughs> yeah, she scared me, man. And my daughter told a little bitty lie. A little, little small little kid lie, you know what I'm saying? And she looked at my daughter. Next time you lie to me, I'm gonna take all of your toys and throw them. All of them, throw them. And I'm like, wow, boy, I thought about that, man. You gonna throw her toys away for lying? Whew, I went upstairs and packed up my PlayStation, put my pool table in the garage. <laughs> you never throw my toys away for lying again. <laughs> I love being married. It's a fun thing, man. Then you got the children, like I say, they always following you around everywhere you go. You ever try to get away from a kid, they follow you everywhere you go? Yeah. You go to the bathroom, they follow you. You got their little hands under the door. Daddy, you coming out to them? When you coming out? When you coming out? <laughs> I got a plunger beating their knuckles. Scram, I ain't never coming out here. They did. 